Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about uh, Armstrong number. So Armstrong number is a number which is a sum of the cube of its digits. Say for example, 153 is an Armstrong number. Okay, because 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube. These are the digits which you have to find the cubes and which will be 1 plus 125 plus 127. When you add all this, you will get 153. Okay. So that will be equal to the input. If both the input and the sum are uh, equal, then it is called as an Armstrong number and you are going to display the true message. Otherwise, you are going to display it is not an Armstrong number. So for that you are going to have initial values, that is a num value, uh, which will be 153. Okay. Uh, since you know that Armstrong 153 is an Armstrong number, you are going to use it. You can use any number and check whether that number is an Armstrong number. So you can get it from the user through scanner glass and then you are going to have a, a variable called digit to store the digits. Okay, once you separate the digit, you have to, go, you have to store it into a variable. So I have used uh, digit and initialize as 0 and then after adding that values, uh, digits, you are going to store it into the sum. So this is the initial values you are going to get. Now you are going to see the steps. So first step is separate the digit. So you are going to see the working of the loop where you are going to separate the digit. Okay. After separating, you are going to find the cube of the digit. After uh, finding the cube, we are going to add it into the sum. Okay. So sum uh, will be, uh, keep on adding. These three steps will be executed till the loop will get uh, terminated. So once a group, uh, loop get terminated, they are going to compare the sum value with the input. If both are same, then you are going to display the output as it is an Armstrong number. If not, you are going to display it as not an Armstrong number. So we are going to see the working now. So you can see uh, it is uh, used in a while loop. The reason for it is you don't know how many number of times you are going to execute. So it is not going to execute fixed number of times. So you cannot use for loop here because you may enter three digit number, you may enter four digit or five digit. So it depends upon the user input. So you cannot define how many times you are going to execute the loop. So you are going to use while or do while. So I have selected while loop here. And I am going to check a condition num not equal to 0. So the input is 153 which is not equal to 0. So till this condition becomes 0, that is if the number becomes 0 then the condition becomes false then it comes out of the loop. So till that you are going to keep on execute, uh, execute the iteration. Now since it is true it enters the body of the loop. In body of loop we got three steps. So first step is to separate the digit. So how to separate the digit is when that number is uh, divis uh, divided by 10, okay, uh, the remainder what you are going to get is the digit. Say for example 153 modulus 10 which will yield you the remainder that is 3. 153 the quotient will be 15 and the remainder is 3 when you divide it by 10. So you are going to get the remainder that is 3 that will be stored in digit. Now next step is you are going to add the cube of the digit that is whatever uh, digit you got you are going to find the cube that will be added into the sum some initial value is 0 already so it will be added into sum so 0 plus 27 which is 27 okay and then you can see that uh, one more step is there to reduce the number because uh, if you don't reduce the number the number will not be uh, it will not become 0 so the reason for that uh, for reducing that is to satisfy the condition and stop the loop okay so 153 divided by 10 that will be the quotient that will be stored in now the number 153 is replaced by 15 so it becomes two digit number now okay after executing this one iteration the sum value is 27 okay now second iteration sum uh, num value is 15 which is not equal to 0 that is true so it enters the body of the loop now digit is 15 percentage 10 that is the modulus you will get 5 so 5 is the reminder what you are going to get when you uh, divide it by 10 now already you have 27 in sum and then you are going to find the cube of the number that is 5 cube that is 125 which will be added with 27 so you are getting 152 as the uh, sum value that will be stored in sum okay and then you are going to reduce the number so num equal to 
15 slash 10. So here the quotient is 1 that will be stored in num. So num value now is 1. So after this iteration, the sum value will be 152. Now third iteration, num value is 1 which is not equal to 0 which is also true. Now you can see the body of the loop will be like this. So 1 modulus 10 since the divisor is smaller, uh, bigger than the number, actual number, you will get the same number as the remainder. So, 1 itself is the remainder that will be stored in the, stored in the digit. Now, you have uh, 152, 152 already stored in sum and then you have to find the cube of the digit which is equal to 1. So, add 152 plus 1 which will become 153. Okay. So, that will be stored in sum and now num value should be reduced by dividing it by 10 so here the quotient is here because it is not divisible so the quotient value will be 0 okay and then after this iteration the sum value is 153 now since the num value becomes 0 this condition is false now so once this condition is false automatically the loop exits so this is the working of the uh, loop now we are going to see the uh, program so here as we discussed in the algorithm uh, we had uh, initialized some values so uh, declaration of num that is to input the number from the user second is digit to store the digit value and here instead of uh, sum i given num okay which will store the sum value okay and then i have one more variable num1 the reason for it is if you don't store the num value into num1 the num value becomes 0 after this execution. I will show it in the, uh, uh, after executing it, I will show you what happens. Okay. Now, you can see enter a number. So, the number has been inputted and it will be stored in num. So, here I am going to store uh, into a temporary variable. Okay. And then I am going to execute the while loop. So, till the uh, number value is 0, it will keep on executing it. Okay. So here first statement is digit equal to num percentage 10. So it will uh, find the modulus and store it into the digit. And then next statement is arm equal to arm plus. Okay. And then you are going to find the par uh, that is digit cube. And then convert it into integer uh, because the power function will return double value. So if you don't if you uh, you don't want the double value, so you are converting into integer using explicit conversion type casting and then adding it to arm and then it will be stored in the variable and then final step is you are going to uh, reduce the number by dividing it by 10 so quotient will be stored in the num so these steps will be executed till the condition becomes false after which you are going to check the num uh, value which is a temporary value you already stored with arm okay if suppose if you are not using num1 you are using num value what happens is num value becomes 0 so 0 will be checked with the result ok I will uh, show you that I am uh, disabling this ok now compile close so I am now entering the uh, input as 153 now you can see 0 is not an Armstrong number the reason for it is uh, the number value uh, becomes 0 after the execution of the loop Okay, so that is the reason you are getting 0 which has been compared with the result. Okay, so instead of that what I am doing is before re uh, reducing the number to 0, I am going to store it into a temporary variable. So that temporary variable will be checked with the result. So that you will not get any problem. Okay, that is the reason I use the temporary variable here. Now I am compiling this execute the program so I'm entering 153 so 153 is an Armstrong number so I'm going to give another number which may not be an Armstrong number say 132 so it is not an Armstrong number so this is how the program works and uh, hope you understood how to execute this program we'll meet you in the next video till then thank you